I am recording the lesson, okay? Um, I might have missed this first section of work now. Thank you for reminding me, Muhammad, to record the lesson. I am recording the lesson now. And um, I'll, I'll try and just re-record the introduction that we did a second ago um, as well, but if I have forgotten to, to include that, okay? But I am recording the lesson for you guys, and I will publish it on Google Classroom, okay? Okay, let's continue. So, there's your, there's your um, nucleus now with your DNA inside it, with your chromatin material. So, what is chromatin material? Guys, um, I can, I, can I ask? I'm sorry, we can't see you. You don't need to see me. Um, your screen. Oh, thank you. That That's more clear. You need to see my screen. Yes, there we go. There is, can you see my screen now? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we have to get back into this habit again. Apologies for that. Now, there's your nucleus, there's your new, uh, chromatin material, and this chromatin material is, as I told you, building plans for whatever needs to happen inside the cell and needs to be built inside the cell. And that consists out of DNA. That consists out of DNA. And that's the topic we're on at the moment, is DNA. Okay, so what do we need to know for this section of work? According to CAPS, now, they have revised the CAPS, as I told you, but the material that you need to know from CAPS is still the same. Um, it's just the papers at the end of the year that's going to be different, and the topics that have moved around, as I told you, are many. So what do we need to know for CAPS for this year? Uh, I want to make sure, pause share, stop share. I am recording. I just want to double check that I am recording. Pause recording, stop. Yes. Okay. So I need to know, and we already went through that, the structure of the cell. We need to know about the ribosomes, and we need to know about the parts of the nucleus. Okay. And, and the cytoplasm. And so that's what we went through now, is the parts of the nucleus. I showed you where the ribosomes are in the cytoplasm. And so that, that's what we're recapping for CAPS. For this year. Then we need to know that nucleic acids, now you might not know that word, that refers to DNA, but it also refers to RNA. Nucleic acids consist out of what we call nucleotides. That's important. You need to also know the structure of the nucleotide, which we'll discuss. You also need to know that there's two types of nucleic acids, which are DNA and RNA. Deoxyribose nucleic acid and ribose, ribose nucleic acid. Okay. So we said the nucleus surrounded by a double membrane, got some nuclear pores inside so that RNA can leave and come back. Uh, then also we need to know that, okay, cytoplasm inside the nucleus is called nucleoplasm. Big surprise there. And then a small round nucleolus is inside here. We said that consists of that's a filing cabinet for my for my uh, chromatin network, and the chromatin network um, is actually the threads that are, is curled up here, and they come out when they need to be read, and that consists all of that consists out of long streams of DNA. Okay, now when a cell divides, we cannot have it looking like that. Because if we divide that in half, how am I going to make sure that half of it's going to go that way and half is going to go that way? So what they do when we divide is your DNA, your chromatin network, consisting out of DNA, including the nucleolus, is going to curl up into these little shapes over here. For humans, there's going to be 46 of them. 46 of these little structures called chromosomes. And we only see the chromosomes when the cell is planning to divide. 
through mitosis or meiosis. Now, you have already have done mitosis in grade 10, but we will be going further into it in grade 12 this year, and we will be doing meiosis as well. Okay. Now, nucleus contro controls the structure and metabolism of the cell through the DNA. DNA consists out of, um, or nucleic acids consists out of nucleotides. So it is what we call a polymer. Why is my pen not writing? So let me just quickly close this and open it again. And my pen wants to start writing now. There we go. Now, DNA and most of the time RNA, but not all of them, is called a polymer. Poly, standing for a lot, and it consists out of a monomia. Monomia. Monomia standing for one, and the monomias are called nucleic acids. Nucleic acids. Okay, so nucleic acids, and here we see that, um, and this is, we're gonna do this later, the DNA is a double strand, as you can see here, and then it gives a message to the mRNA during protein synthesis, which we'll discuss in detail later, which is gonna form as a protein. So the protein, the structure of the protein is determined by the structure of the DNA over there. So, people, um, also important here that you need to remember, and there's normally a trick question around this in the papers that's going to cost you or cost you or gain you two marks, is that not all of the DNA is inside the nucleus. We also have extra nuclear DNA inside the mitochondrion and inside chloroplast synthesis. This is because... This is because um, mitochondria and chloroplasts are pretty big organelles inside the cell. And because they're so big, they need their own control center. And so that's why they have their own DNA. Okay. Then, DNA, the strings of DNA wrap themselves around proteins called histones. Sorry, I have to keep the part again. Okay. And here we go, and you now see that what we have here is the nucleolus, and the nucleolus, start writing again, close and open that again, sorry, my, sometimes it's a bit finicky, this program, there's the nucleolus, move it through the map, nucleolus, okay, and it can go and transform into the chromosome, which consists, and they both consist out of long strings of DNA, and you can see the double helix structure of the DNA there, and then each DNA consists out of these little nucleotide sections over there. There's a nucleotide, there's a nucleotide. We're going to go a bit more into the structure in lesson two, depending on how much time we have here, but we almost finished with lesson one. Okay. Okay, so what do we need to do for lesson one, guys? Find, draw the, the nucleus structure, okay? And then copy down all the highlighted words and give a definition of each one. So inside here, there's some highlighted words. There's one, histones, uh, histones, chromosomes, those highlighted words in this lesson, RNA, DNA, then nucleic acids, there's one, nucleic acids, RNA, DNA. Um, so please, all those highlighted words, give me a definition of each one. And then also, if you go and you go to your Mind the Gap book, let me go to Mind the Gap book, there's the DNA structure. Okay, so there's the DNA structure. And you can draw the DNA structure as well into your books. That's your task for lesson one. Okay, let me see how much time we have left. Okay, we have quite a bit of time left, which is good. 
Um, I'm not going to go over the 40 minutes for, for the lesson. You know what? Let me stop there for today. You've got enough to do for today. You can go through lesson two and lesson three on Google Classroom as well. But I'm going to stop there for today. Good introduction lesson for you guys. We started with being a and go get your textbook, get onto Google Classroom, go draw DNA, go get those words, the highlighted words, and give me a definition for each one. And then I will see you again in tomorrow's lesson. And I will send a Zoom link for tomorrow's lesson. It's going to be the same code and link every time. But please don't log in in weird times. You, you're not going to find me there. I'm not in Zoom every single minute. Okay. And you so might walk into a meeting that you don't belong to. Yes. Questions? So, um, the, the textbooks you mentioned, the yes. Mind the Gap one and the Answer series, where do you get them? Google do you Classroom. Buy them Google, Google Classroom. Classroom. The Answer series is you can buy that online or you can buy it from CNA or so, but be careful. Don't go buy the... Look, the material, as I said, the material hasn't changed, but... I think they're going to have a revised one available in the shops. That's going to be uh, because because of the shifting in the um, in the topics from the one paper to the other one. But start oh. don't buy answer series yet. Start with Mind the Gap. Mind the Gap is on Google okay. Classroom. It's over there. Um, I think after lesson three. Let me just see. I oh, know so. I published it. Oh. So, so is it compulsory to have all three of them? The, no, no, the mind I only need you to have mind again. Okay, the rest oh, okay. is for extra. I, I need you to have, I'm going to be working with you guys um, from the mind the gap book. What I'll do is I'll find it on Google Classroom again now. I know I did I put it at the top a few lessons ago, but I'll put it uh, back at, at the top. There we go, there it is. I'm putting it at the top now so you can guys can see clearly and then download the mind to get it, please. Okay. There it is. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions before we log off, guys? So for lesson one, um, should we um, write all the notes and complete no. the, the homework? Please don't, write, please don't write the notes. You're not a copying machine. Okay. Please don't write the notes. Okay, you're not a copying machine. The notes are there. They're available to you. You can read them on your tablet. You can even print them if you want to waste paper. Um, but please don't go, don't go copy notes. We're not copying machines. You guys learn nothing so, from copying notes because you guys actually copy without um, reading properly. Just get so, the, the highlighted words and definitions. And then yes, sir. diagram, redraw the diagram. We learn by diagrams. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. okay, any other questions before we log off, guys? I'm just checking the chat box as well, quickly. Um, okay. No more questions on the chat line either, then I'm going to log off. Thank you very much. I will be publishing this lesson onto the Google Classroom in a moment.